What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. I just got out of watching Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves for the second time in four days in the theater. It's that good. Like I can't tell you guys the last time I saw a movie in the theaters more than once. I think it was like when I was a kid and I watched like Little Big League like four times in the theater. I thought that was a fun movie back in the day, but Dungeons and Dragons Holy crap. I'm not even that big of a Dungeons & Dragons fan. Like, I very casually played it when I was really young. Like, 10 years old, 12 years old. I didn't really know what I was doing. Uh, but I had a blast with it. And I'm like, eh, I'm not really into this movie series. I don't know what they even did with it. It couldn't be that good, right? Wrong. Smash! JT. Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves blew me away like completely shocked me with how good it was storyline fantastic comical comedic drop-ins here and there sprinkled all over perfect like i i, I don't want to give anything away if you haven't seen it but there, there's parts in it that you're just like damn this is a good movie like this is a hell of a flick very entertaining very worth watching in the theaters if you got nothing to do and you're like what what should I what should I go watch Dungeons and Dragons now I'm not the biggest fan of Michelle Rodriguez I think she's one of the worst female actors actresses I don't even know what Hollywood calls them now one of the worst out there and she wasn't great in this movie either she was Michelle Rodriguez you know whatever she 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 did exactly what she needed to do um, but it didn't matter because the rest of the cast did a great job, carried it, the storyline, the, the stuff that happened throughout the movie was perfect. I didn't even know Hugh Grant was in it. That, that caught me off guard. I did no research whatsoever. Actually, funny story, my son's best friend's father messaged me and he's like, hey, I'm going to see the new Dungeons & Dragons movie on the, the, the re re release day. He's like, do you want to come with me? And I was like sure I'm not doing anything else I'll, I'll go with it. like I didn't really care I didn't know anything about it I was like okay because he's huge into D&D so I'm like okay I'll watch it with you though I'll, I'll be a, I'll be a buddy with you I'll hang out uh, and I went in I think I liked it more than he did <laughs> so it's I, I it's a little bit um, deceiving because the name of the movie might put off people from wanting to go see it because they're like, oh, I never played Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, that's for dorks. That's for weirdos. That's for losers. That's for geeks. I never did that stuff when I was younger. Like the movie has nothing to do with Dungeons and Dragons, the game when you roll dice. It has nothing. Like, I mean, they do mention Baldur's Gate and some other stuff that is part of the D&D universe in the movie, but that's about as far into the universe as they get to. A casual observer, a casual fan. Hell, someone who's not even casual with it. Just as an action-adventure movie for entertainment purposes? I, I can't see it getting better than that. Like, if every movie I watched was that good, I would watch every movie in the world. Like, that's... It was so entertaining. It was... It was a ride from the beginning. How they entertained and interested you. How they... How they developed the story and drew you into the world and the adventures that they go on, the different things that happen. It's it's the perfect movie. And here's the thing. When I went with my son's friend's dad, we didn't bring our kids. Because I was like, oh, I don't know how gory it's going to be. I don't know, you know, the violence, the sex, all the other stuff. I don't, I don't know what they're going to do in the movie. I don't want to bring my nine-year-old son to this. Uh, I'm not really sure what it even is, you know. And we watched it, and the whole time I was watching it, I'm like, you know, me being the dad, oh my God, my son would love this. Like, this is right up his alley. And, and for someone who really only watches like animated movies and, you know, CG movies like my son, it's hard to get him to watch like a real live action movie. I was watching this and I'm like, this would be a great introduction to get my son to actually start watching regular movies with real actors and real people in them. 
of course, we're going to see the Mario movie this week too, which is completely back into what he always watches. But still, this is a, a, a good gateway movie to get into that realm. And as I'm watching it, I'm like, this is perfect for him. And I was mad I didn't bring him. I was like, man. And then I watched it and I loved it. And I'm like, you know what? It was so good. I want him to see it. And so I got back home. I asked him if he was interested. And he's like, yeah, I'll watch it. I'll, uh, I don't care. If you thought it was good, I'll go with you, Dad. And of course, my daughter, who is seven, was like, oh, if he's going to the movies, I want to go with him. And I'm like, eh, I mean, I don't know if it's really her cup of tea, but, you know, she, she wanted to watch it too. And I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll bring you both. And, uh, yeah, so I, I went in and, and bought the tickets, and we went in and sat there and watched it, and at the end, they both loved it. And my daughter didn't fall asleep, which I think is a first in the movie. She always, it's like they put something in the drinks at the movie theater for her, and knocks her right out. But no, this is the first time she was awake the entire movie and enjoyed it. I was, I was impressed. Uh, my son loved it. I knew he would. But it was just an all-around perfect adventure for not just me, but for my entire family. Of course, my wife was working that day, so... I mean, she could take it or leave it, probably. But anyways, it was it was a great movie. And, and something that I think even my wife would have enjoyed if she were to have had the day off and come with us. But it didn't matter. Like, we... we we enjoyed it for what it was with the company that we had. Uh, we went to AMC on the launch day of the movie. They had this like 12 sided die that you could open up and have popcorn in it. It was pretty cool, but it was like 30 bucks. And I'm like, mm, I don't know if I really want to get that. And then when I was going back with my son and my daughter, I was like, you know what? I will get that die because it was, it was cool. Like, I think my son would like it and whatever. And we went in and they were like, completely sold out of it. I was like, of course, of course they sold out of it. I should have got it when it was there on the launch day, but you know, less, lesson learned. If you are at the movie theater and they have a special popcorn canister and you're thinking you might want to get it, get it because it probably won't be the next time you go. Uh, I was fortunate enough to get the Mario movie post promo posters. Uh, I think I got like the last ones that they had at the AMC. They were free. Uh, and I got those a couple weeks ago when my buddy told me about them there. And I framed them, put them up in my game room, and they're awesome. And they're free. This is the best part. It's free. So, um, yeah, anyways, I'm, I'm kind of going off the rails here. Uh, I guess the, the point of this video is to tell you that if you are on the fence about watching this movie, don't be. Go see it. You won't regret it. It was fantastic thrill ride the whole time through and I mean I know I just saw it twice in what four days or so I I could go see it again in the movie theaters I don't need to see it again in the next like couple days or whatever but like three weeks from now four weeks from now if it's still in the theaters and it's something that comes up I wouldn't be opposed to going again it was that good and there's a lot of different stuff that happens in it that you you pick up the second time that you don't see the first time through so um yeah I'm going to leave it there, but if you have seen the latest Dungeons & Dragons, let everyone know in the comments. I'd be shocked if there's anybody that didn't like it. And if you didn't like it, please tell me why. I would love to hear. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, you stay smashing. Master Jay is